Hello everyone, it's Janice again with more layouts for the Show That Layout series that Hearts 1217 got started and now I'm just all hooked in to showing you guys my layouts. Again, these are all layouts I have done before um, in the past year, I would say. See, this was last Easter <clears throat> at our church. <clears throat> Excuse me. We usually have a big, big outreach and we invite all the neighborhood kids and I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. Um, that was at the beginning before all the visitors came. This is kind of like our... Well, here, there were less here. And then more. And then we started bringing in more chairs. There must have been over 100 kids there. And those were kindergartners through second grade only. <laughs> so we had our hands full. And, um, and I teach in kids' church. Um, that is our pastor, teacher, or youth pastor's wife, who happens to be our associate pastor's daughter as well. And um, she runs the kids' ministry, and she teaches in there too. Anyway, and that's Adrian, and I'm, you know, not, not loving the way this layout turned out. I like the papers I used and the colors, but I just, I wished I had used a, a brighter color. Maybe just used the white for the OBC kids. Um, OBC, our church, Orlando Baptist Church, and then kids. That's what we call the children's ministry. So, anyway, that was that. But this one I love. This is a picture picture that we took when we went to the USS Intrepid in New York City. I grew up in New York City, and we go back once a year to visit our families. And my husband's from New York, too. And so we took Adrian for the first time to the USS Intrepid, and it was better than Disney World for him. He loved it because uh, he really loves everything military, which is really cool. And um, and I love that title I got it from. I got it from one of K. Andrews' stamps, and it's um, Home of the Free Because of the Brave. I truly, truly feel that in my heart, and so I love the way that layout turned out. And that's some more of that K. and Company paper that I can't remember the name of it. And I even... Um, and then the little boat, boat um, and the anchor came from that stand and salute cartridge. And then they gave Adrian, I'm holding the camera in my hand today. I saw Melissa doing that and I thought that's a good idea. That way I can kind of get in closer and show details. But they gave them these little cards here. And so I slipped it in there, like a little pocket. And then this is when Adrian turned six. This was his birthday party. And this is supposed to be like that. So let me zoom back. We got the big balloons from, oh, I think this is from the Celebrations cartridge. And I just put peachy keen faces on there. And the paper's DC. No, that's a Martha Stewart pack that looks kind of like birthday paper to me. And then the middle is supposed to be a birthday cake, if you can see that. And then those letters are from Boys Will Be Boys and the numbers from Sweet Treats. Okay. And then this, he got Battleship for his birthday. Let's see. I can... So this is another 12 by 24. And, um... The, um... Paper is again, um, uh, that's from DCWV, and I used my stand and salute cartridge again for pretty much everything. The battleship, I actually just created it in my gypsy with the boys will be boys letters, and I put a little eyelet right there because if you look at in the game battleship, it has a like a you know, like a cannon shot right there. So I want it to, to look like that. So that was fun. And then it, the this I, I did with a Martha Stewart border punch. We are um, Martha Stewart punch around the page there. Okay, and then I embossed 
this strip with those cuddle bug embossing strips. I had got that on clearance, so I'm going to go ahead and try that out. I'll show you one more and then we'll stop the camera. Um, this one's at the farm, at Green Meadows Farm in Kissimmee, Florida. And I used several cartridges here. I want to use, I want to say it was um, a child's year. And this little cute chick might have been from there too. I'm not sure. And then I think the letters are from um, hmm, Plants in School Book maybe they look like. I'm sorry. I just don't remember. I have a lot of cartridges. More than I care to admit. And then I added some of this faux stitching with the X and the line. And these are brads that I've had forever. And that's a little button brad I got from um, Hobby Lobby. Okay, and I do down here. I can't see it because of this glare, but it's I crimped the paper. Um, and then here I added a little ruffle with ribbon. And this is a, a stamp. It's a journaling block. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.